for thousands of Indians doing business in China, language has proven to be the biggest barrier. Not knowing the language has meant not just losing business opportunities, but also loss of social contacts. But now many are working to change that. Confucius Institute, established by the Chinese government at the Mumbai University, is at the forefront of the efforts. The Council General of China in Mumbai tells us language is the best way to bridge the gap between the two neighbors. Learning a language is important for our two peoples to enhance understanding. The two countries are friendly neighbors. I think language promotes the friendship between India and China. 46 Mandarin teachers from all over India registered for the two-day teachers training course for which Chinese professors were flown in from the Confucius Institute headquarters or Hanban which is affiliated to the Chinese Ministry of Education in China's capital, Beijing. It's been three years since the Confucius Institute here in Mumbai has been operational but it's for the first time that teachers from China have been invited to train teachers from India. Professors here say that the interest in the language is only increasing. Professor Vibha Surana is the director of the Confucius Institute in Mumbai. She says with business and trade increasing between China and India, demand to learn Mandarin is also on the rise. She adds that soon intensive courses will be launched to produce experts who can work on the China-India relationship. We need to intensify the teaching of Chinese Mandarin so because at the moment we are not being able to produce Chinese experts with the current scenario hence there is a very dire need to have bachelors and masters and at a later stage also PhD uh, for Chinese Mandarin. Nazia Vasi is the founder of Ancient Closer an institute that teaches Mandarin to people from varied age groups. She is honing her skills here to get her accent and social etiquette right. Up till now what's been happening is that a lot of people have been learning Mandarin from different universities, have different accents, um, have different styles of teaching. Getting a standardized way to teach Mandarin, understanding how to teach the language, becomes very important when you're then delivering the language. Chinese foreign direct investment in India was $1.2 billion between 2000 and 2015. During Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to India in September 2014, China committed to a $20 billion investment in India over the next five years. Chinese companies have also invested heavily in the past two years in the fields of telecommunications, manufacturing and infrastructure. And over the next few years, interest in doing business is only going to increase, which is making Indians look at Mandarin as the language of the future. Shweta Bajaj, CGTN, Mumbai, India.